Happy Mindful Meditation Monday, tribe. We are back to another Monday that we have been blessed to to see. Uh, everybody didn't make it there. And on that note, I, I do want to uh, extend gratitude to everyone who has called, who has texted, who has sent me positive vibes. I felt all of it like... Um, I really, really appreciate all of the love. I do, and what, what, in whatever way you sent it, I felt it, and I needed it, and I'm, I'm so grateful for you guys. So thank you so, so very much. I love you guys so much. So now I was able to bounce back and get to work, and um, still move on. There's still a purpose. We also. We all still have a purpose, and all of our experiences are for a purpose. And so this week, um, I wanted to, we've been doing so much shadow work, and then, you know, with me losing a loved one, I was just like, okay, I need to find the silver lining. So the silver lining in everything is gratitude, and it's um, being able to extend joy and um, just being in that place, just to know that everything happens for a reason and there's nothing that happens by coincidence. So um, because of that, we can be encouraged that we can learn and we can grow from whatever it is that we experience. So every sensation or whatever emotion that we feel, it can be positive or it can be negative. Um, it's yin and yang. It's, it's definitely a uh, balance in everything. So um, nothing is ever just joyful all the time. Even though I'm, I'm, my meditation is focused on joyful, I'm not going to be one of those people who are just... Um, I'm a realist. And although I'm positive and I spread love, I just have a lot of love to give. <laughs> That's my gift, is to spread love. But... Um, to everything there is an opposite just to create balance and so um, whenever that that adversity happens it may come in the form of a negative feeling so um, what we have to do is just be able to bounce ourselves back because with those thoughts they manifest into things and that's so powerful so even though you know we may go through things we got to have a bounce back because what we have to understand is that somebody is waiting for your bounce back so that they can bounce back. So even in our adversity, like what are we going to do to make sure that we bounce back? So um, when we try to face, you know, find joy in the face of illness or an accident or disillusionment of a relationship happening, um, you could, it's very easy to find, you know, unresolved feelings like sadness and, you know, doubt and fear and stress and grief and shame. You know, all those are a part of all of the things that we definitely, as human beings, we feel. But um, a lot of us stay there too long. And that's the stagnation that, you know, we were talking about last week. We stay there way too long. And so um, whenever you fall into despair, we want to, you know, welcome. Welcome those feelings, but don't stay there. And some of us have a really good habit of dodging. We dodge whatever those feelings are and so that they stay there forever until we deal with them. That's your shadow work is dealing with them. So invite those feelings in like messengers allow them to to help you get through the healing and then resolve them you know don't let them just stick there because they become so toxic in our very being and they manifest in different ways and illnesses and you know and aging and all type, type of different things or whatever they they manifest so you have to let it go so what we're going to do our meditation today is going to be that um, something that you can use on your own <clears throat> whenever you're having like a negative sensation, an emotion, a thought, a life event, um, anything that you're experiencing. But uh, and, and it doesn't even have to be necessarily negative, but if it does not bring you joy, you know what I'm saying? 
So um, we just have to find an even kill with that. We can't we can't stay in this negative space, but we can, you know it's very hard for some people. It's just easy for me. This I told you it's my gift to just stay you know like this all the time. I'm always happy and positive or whatever. I mean even in my, in my my despair times I'm still giggling about something so um but all of us can find a balance and myself included I always have to find a balance because I have high highs and low lows those of you who know know <laughs> I'm meditating for a reason okay so um you'll be so surprised how this can make a, a change and an effect in your life so let's go into meditation please join me so with your eyes open, or you can leave them closed, I prefer to meditate with closed eyes, welcome the environment and the sounds that are around you, even if they're not sounds that you want to hear, I want you to hear them in gratitude, for you have breath in your body, you are a being and you have the ability to hear. Welcome the environment that you're blessed to be in. The touch of the air on your skin. The sensations where your body touches the surfaces of anything else and whatever is supporting your body. And give gratitude. Bring awareness to that. Bring awareness to the fact that your body is breathing. Be aware of your breath as your diaphragm moves up and down as your stomach moves up and down and how your body is able to flow in this very moment. Give gratitude for the sensations present throughout your body, even if it does hold tension, even if it does feel stressed. You've got sensation in your body and we are grateful. Now I want you to locate a feeling of joy in your body. Find it. Where is that joy located? This could be maybe a feeling of connection with someone or something. It could be your very well-being. It could be peace. It could be happiness or any sensation that feels like joy to you. Joy for me is so many things, but in this moment, joy to me would be a spoonful of snickerdoodles ice cream. Whatever joy is for you in this moment, Embrace it. Embrace it. Let it let it make you smile. If it's helpful, bring to mind a memory of a person that makes you smile and that you love so much, or an animal that is the best partner ever and the best friend. It may be a place. Maybe you visited a place that brought you so much peace and so much joy, or it could be an object. Maybe something that you were given special from somebody that's special to you. Whatever it is, I want you to bring it to mind. And I want you to bring recognition to where and how you experience that joy in your body. Bring all of that joy within. Perhaps it's a warm feeling in your heart or a glow in your belly. Welcome and allow the feeling of joy 
to grow and spread throughout your body. Let it ooze from your crown all the way to the bottom of your feet. Now I want you to pair that joy that you've just evoked. Pair it with an opposite stressful sensation, but I don't want you to be immersed in it. Just bring awareness to it. An emotion, a cognition, or a particular stressor in your life. Feel how this stressful thought emotion or situation affects your body and your mind. Now step away from it and alternate between feeling the feeling of joy and the stressor. So what is the joy? Bring awareness to it and now go back to the stressor. This may feel uncomfortable at first, but go back to the joy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then go back to the stressor. And feel how this stressful thought can go through your mind and body and then feel how the joy feels within your mind and body. And now I want you to see if you can feel both at the same time. Yeah, letting joy spread throughout your body even as you feel the stressor. Doesn't it feel different? Allow that joy to overcome. When it feels right, Relinquish that stressor and let it go and allow the joy to stay and begin to permeate the body from the crown all the way to the bottom of your feet coming out. Allow all the stressors to come out of the body. And then allow that joy to radiate throughout your body and rest here. Rest here as long as you're comfortable to rest right here in this joyful moment. This can be repeated as many times as you deem necessary with different stressors that you experience in your life. Always begin first with the joy and the gratitude and allow that to permeate your body and then bring in the stressor and be truthful with where it comes from your body and how it makes you feel and then bring to pass the joy and then go back to the stressor and then go back and, and do that again, do that process again until the joy overcomes the stressor and then deeply breathe out of the stressor whenever you're ready. Let it go and stay in the joy for as long as you feel good. And then when you're ready, you can let your eyes open and close and open and close as many times as it takes to encourage the feeling of joy to permeate and accompany you throughout the rest of your days and your seconds and your hours and your moments. Allow it to be with you. If you are lying, please come to your left side of your body. and allow your eyes to open if they are not already open. Wiggle your toes and your fingers. Bring awareness to your environment, 
take into consideration the sights and the sounds? How does it smell? How does your environment feel now that you are filled with joy? How does that feel? <laughs> yes. And definitely grab your journal and jot down all of the things that you deem necessary to treasure from this very meditation. Thank you for joining me and meditating with me. May this meditation and all meditations with you for the week of spreading joy inspire peace inside of you and all that are connected to you. Peace, family. And thank you guys so much again. Definitely uh, like this video. And if you are not subscribed, subscribe. And um, I'm so grateful for your time. Mwah.